Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm glad that you're spending a couple of minutes to let me explain the facts about inspecting shocks and struts. All too often, I hear someone say that they inspected them and they look fine. Unfortunately, unless that person has superpower or x-ray vision, they can't tell if one is good, bad, or worn. The only thing a visual inspection can confirm is whether the top seal has failed and that fluid is leaking. But there are many more important parts to a shock other than just the top seal. Even when the outside of a shock looks okay, the inside may not. Shocks and struts are sealed units that contain hydraulic fluid, nitrogen gas, internal seals, and precisely calibrated mechanical valves. All of them operate while you drive. Not just on big bumps. They control even the slightest road variations. In fact, they can work over a thousand times during every mile that you drive. Eventually, or sooner than you may expect, there will be enough wear to the internal components that new shocks should be recommended, even though the outside looks okay. Some of the most critical moving parts inside a shock look like thin round metallic wafers, called valve discs. Many of them are thinner than a razor blade. They flex up and down every time the shock or strut moves. When the metal discs become fatigued, the shock becomes weak and the vehicle loses some of its handling and control. You can't see that from the outside, but you can feel the loss of handling and control during a road test. A qualified technician will do both a visual inspection to check for leaks and damage, and they will do a road test to help you understand how much handling and control has been worn away over time and miles. That should help you decide if the time is right to replace your shocks and struts. I hope this answers your question. Can a shock that isn't leaking be bad? Yes, it can. And thanks for watching.